Hello IC Kids welcome back to the session I am Meenakshi Thal your English mentor and I am once again back with another fun learn session so are you all excited Yes show me some excitement with your reactions because I am super excited because I have an activity for you all today Let's get started with the activity and let's see what we are going to learn in this session and with this activity as well Shall we start Do you know what we are going to make? We are actually going to create a dog with the help of an origami sheet. See? Shall we begin? So join me and let's get started. For this session, I have already informed what materials we require. Remember, I always tell you to carry a notebook and a pencil with you. And in this session, we are also going to use an origami sheet. Okay? Now this is an origami sheet and I'm going to make a dog in front of you with the help of this sheet. Stay focused and listen to me carefully, okay? Follow the instructions. Wonderful. So we are going to start with this origami sheet. What we have to do first? First, we have to fold it in half. First, fold the sheet in half like this. Done? Yes. Are you able to see this colored part? I have folded the colored part like this. Both the sides. You are able to see the colored sheet. Okay. Now this is done. Now open it again and fold it from another side. You have to make the crease of it. Okay. Now we are folding it again. Then fold it in half from top to bottom in this way. second step right now the third step is next fold in the two sides next step is fold in the two sides in this way see yes okay now these are the dog's ears fourth step is after that fold the bottom and make a small triangle with it make a small triangle of it fold the bottom make a small triangle over here with this see yes okay and finally the last step what do you have to do in this last step what you can do you can draw eyes and nose of this so that it looks cute <laughs> we can decorate it by drawing eyes like this i'm just coloring the eyes okay we can make it look like a dog completely with the help of this eyes and then the nose also see eyes and now i'm making the nose you can also follow the same steps and make a dog of this origami sheet okay kids see is it looking like a dog yes <laughs> okay kids so this is this was the activity where we have actually made a dog of this origami sheet now the learning out of it Any guesses what we are going to learn in today's session? Guesses, guesses. Okay, so I am Binakshi Thal. Welcome you all once again back to the session. What we are going to learn today? We are going to actually learn sequence words. So yes, kids, we are going going to learn sequence words. The active the activity that we did in our today's session that was to practice some of the sequence words. If you had looked at the screen carefully the sentences that I was sharing to tell you the steps of making this dog I was using sequence words Now the big question comes in my mind that what are sequence words how are they used or what are the examples of sequence words So don't worry kids I am here and with the help of this session we are going to learn the sequence words we are going to even practice it during the session 
so are you all excited for the session quickly type why in the chat if you are excited why for yes why for yellow class so let's very quickly get started with this learning session okay cool so first of all the bigger question arises in our mind that is <laughs> what are sequence words so kids sequence words are those words which help us to put and understand sequence words are those words which help us to understand the order of events happening in the stories or any procedure order of the event the way we had learned the order of a to z if i say t s so that is the wrong order of alphabet right similarly whenever we are doing anything we have to follow the correct steps now making this when we were creating this dog imagine that i would tell you this step of making eyes and nose for the first and then later tell you to fold this bottom corner and make the nose part then the drawing would look something else this would not be the result of our practice right so the sequence words are those words which help us to put the correct put the things in correct order in a story put the events in a correct order actually it helps us to understand the steps of anything now what are those things where we use sequence words usage of sequence words we can use sequence words for life cycles for example if i tell you the life cycle cycle of a butterfly there is a complete steps right what is the first thing that is going to happen and then the later step and then finally the butterfly flies away so these are the steps right similarly let's say we have to uh, make any dish hmm and uh, to uh, to make that dish to prepare that recipe i'm telling you steps so kids you have to do this first take this and then apply this thing on that basically you are going to follow the steps as per my instruction and understand it better what i did i was using some words and those words are called sequence words so we use sequence words first for life cycles second for stories third for procedures for for creating something or to do something right so for now we have understood what are sequence words yes second we have also understood where we use these sequence words usage of sequence words now let us see some examples let us recap some of the examples which some of the words which are sequence words so during this activity i used four sequence words those four sequence words were first then next and last with the help of these four words i was able to share with you what you have to do first what you have to do then what you have to do next and later last right with the help of these steps you were able to follow my instructions properly now let us see some more examples for sequence words we are also going to practice it during the session but before that it's the checkpoint time whatever i have told you so far i'm going to test that with the help of a question what you have to do i'm going to read the question for you sharing the options for you you can quickly share your answer in the comment section yes whether it is true or false let's get started okay so the question is sequence words are words that help us understand the order of events that are happening in the story is it true or false any guesses <laughs> you have to share your answer in the comment very quickly tell me why see kids whether the definition of sequence word given on the image right now on the slide right now is it correct or not if you think it's a correct definition then you can go for true option if you think no no this definition is not correct then go for the false option hurry up everybody and quickly share your answers in the comment i'm very excited to see how you all respond splendid performance good job everybody great going everybody has to answer give your best yes 
Okay, cool. So yes, I gave you the same information. Sequence words are the words that help us to understand the order of events that are happening in the story, procedure or life cycle as well. So yes, this definition is correct and we can go for the true option. Wonderful performance everybody. Students who are struggling, keep trying. You just have to listen actively to me. Okay? You can even put up your question in the comment if you have any doubt. Let's move on to another question. We have another question for you. I've given you enough information to ask questions actually. Okay, so the question says, read the sentence and find a sequence word. So there is a sentence given on the screen right now. You all can read the sentence and what you have to do, you have to tell me from the options what is the sequence word in the sentence. The, the sentence is, after that, I prepared my room. Okay, after that, I prepared my room. Now you have to identify, you have to find out what is the sequence word in this sentence. Is it after or room? <laughs> yes, quickly tell me your answers in the comment. Great, good, great. Hmm. Okay, hmm. I can see the excitement, even I am excited. <laughs> We are going to learn a lot during the session. You have to stay active during the session and I hope you are making your notes. Mm. Great kids, great. Yes, you all are on the right pace. Students understand this that the, I shared some examples with you. First, finally, later, next. After is also a sequence word. Just like all these words, after is also a sequence word. Now a question arises that ma'am fine you gave us some examples that you used during this activity then at last finally what are the all sequence words so I'm giving you another information right now you understand sequence words more do you know I have a su surprise for you in our next session in today's session we did this origami activity and in our next session we are going to have some surprise so wait for that surprise we have a lot of learning in our coming sessions coming for you okay for now i have shared enough information with you all it's poll time my favorite time your favorite time let us do the poll time and let's see what we all have learned yes ready for the first poll so the first poll is there on the screen the question is Find a replacement for the below mentioned sequence words. Sequence word. Now I am giving you a sequence word and you have to tell that what other word we can use on the place of this sequence word. So the word is finally. <laughs> finally is somewhere the last step at the end. Yes. And I have two options for you. The first option is later and second option is at last. Now you have to quickly click on the correct answer what word like later or at last out of these both which word can replace the word finally we are talking about sequence word in this in this poll question as well think carefully answer on the correct answer so that we can continue learning <laughs> Okay, I'm reading the question once again for everybody, students who are not able to understand it, think properly, listen actively in the class, you will be able to do it, believe me. Okay, it's an easy question. What we have to do, we have to replace the word finally. I have two options for you, first option is later, second option is at last. Click on the correct answer. Okay. Superb, yes. So I already shared so many examples with you verbally and through the help of the activity also. We have to understand we can use the word, we can actually replace word finally with the word at last. Yes, that was easy. <laughs> Great, wonderful performance everybody. Let's move on to the second poll and let's see what we have in this poll. <laughs> okay, so the second question. Hmm. Again, information read the question listen to the question carefully then and next have similar meaning as a sequence word this is a statement 
Now you have to tell me whether this statement is true or false. I'm repeating it for you. Then and next have similar meaning as a sequence word. We are saying that they both have similar meaning as a sequence word. Students answer on the screen screen if you think the statement is correct then go for the true if you think the statement is not correct it's wrong then go for the false option and just rock why see kids are rocking <laughs> okay oh yes i remember i told you that why see kids i i will start calling you all smart kids because you people are super smart okay hmm you have to simply tell whether the statement is true or false. So this is a true statement. If I'm saying next, do this. Next, fold the two corners of the graph. Now, if I say this or I say then and continue the step, I'm saying same thing. I'm actually passing the same message. And similarly, we have several word, words for each word like to, just to say first I can use other way, ways as well to begin with to start with and first right so there are many suggestions what we have to do we have to use these words we have to practice them so with practice I remember let us continue using and learning the sequence words with the help of this practice so I have an example for you okay I'm going to explain how we can use sequence word during any activity so if you are able to see this girl is trying to bake something or maybe cook something let's read the steps read the steps along with me and focus on everything okay you have to be very attentive in it first Suzanne mixes the ingredients for cookies what she did she's mixing the ingredients this is the first step that's why we started it with first Suzanne mixes the ingredients for cookies next step then she puts it on the cookie tray she puts it on the cookie tray then after after that then after she puts the baked cookies on a plate Later, she places the cookie tray in the oven. At last, her brother eats a cookie from the plate. Are you A, all able to understand the usage of these sequence words? We use the sequence words like first, then, then after, next and at last. Yes? To explain the sequence now one more poll and then uh, like I want to confirm that whether you all have understood everything clearly or not so let's answer this poll this question is there on the screen the question says we can not use sequence words to tell any recipe this is the statement okay we cannot use sequence words to tell any recipe now you have to tell me whether it is true or false I'm repeating the statement for all of you we cannot use sequence words to tell any recipe now if you think that yes we cannot use any sequence word for recipe then go for true because the statement is true in that case if you say if you are saying we can use sequence words for recipe then go for false option because then you are saying that the statement is wrong think and answer click on the correct answer everybody options are there already on the screen you just have to click on the on your correct answer and it will be done yes great going everybody I would like to tell you all that we are actually learning a lot right now. We have to stay attentive in the sessions and we are also going to practice sequence word more in our upcoming sessions. Okay, so let me tell you the answer of this question. Okay, so answer of this question is false. <laughs> this statement is wrong that we cannot use sequence words for recipe. 
when we are cooking something there also we are following a procedure right so to follow a procedure we can use sequence words to understand what to happen first what to happen next then after and at last right that is why it is correct to, it is actually wrong to say that we cannot use sequence words for any recipe one more thing everybody okay so we have learned some of the sequence words during the session we understood what is the meaning of sequence words we understood where to use them now what i want you all to do to attend the quiz of this session and even be super sure that you have understood everything very well okay first thing second thing you also have to complete the worksheet that you get after the session if you complete the worksheet i will get the information that okay my kids understood the topic they did their worksheet and they have submitted on the yc feed or on any other social platform i'll be able to actually help you more during the sessions if you do quizzes and worksheets properly yes so that's all for today's session thank you so much everybody for joining in the session i'll meet you in the next class with uh, one more surprise on sequence word yes we are going to continue learning the sequence word with some other activity we are going to practice in even a better way so for that wait and join that session okay bye everybody take care